G'day District 17. I'm looking forward to coming back and having a blast with you guys on the 10th of September 2011. I've been to Perth for Toastmasters many times. I was first there in 2007. I was there again back in May for the Swan Song. What an event. And Mark and Robin and the other district officers have asked me to come back to share with you some of the secrets I've had for winning table topics and evaluation competitions over the years. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to put together a presentation taking it to the next level. How do you get better at what it is you already do? First half, we're gonna look for about two hours at table topics. How do you put together a good table topic response at a moment's notice and make it look easy? How do you take stories you've heard once and tell them as stories you know that you've told many times? What do you say? How do you say what it is that you say so the audience goes, yeah, this person knows what they're on about? Not only is this gonna be a great opportunity to polish up your table topics and presentation skills, it's gonna be great skills for when you're out in the workplace presenting your products, selling your ideas, and becoming a communicator out in the real world. We're gonna do two hours of that, and then we're gonna do about two hours on evaluations. How do you give a good evaluation so the speaker you're evaluating improves, the audience who's listening to your evaluation improves, but most of all, so you as a speaker and a presenter also improve. I'm gonna show you how to take notes. We're gonna go through how to put together an evaluation that is meaningful. What it is that you have to do up, over and beyond what the normal evaluation has so you can win competitions, but most importantly, help people become better speakers. If you like competing, and I believe there's a few over there who do, I'll show you how to put together your Competition evaluations, how do you take notes? What ideas do you put down? What structure do you use when you stand up and give your presentation? And what words and elements do you need to win a presentation on evaluations? How do you win an evaluation competition? And if there's time, I'll go through the exact wording, the exact formula that I used back in May to win the district championship. To be a good evaluator, you need to stand out. And the way you stand out is by having different information to evaluate against. And you have that information by the knowledge and experience that you build up. And the best way to build up your knowledge and experience on evaluations is to get educated. So what I've done is I've put together the 10 secrets of highly effective presenters just down there under the red banner. Pop your name and email address in there and I'll send you a link to 10 quick videos that'll give you the skills and the insights that I use when evaluating speech competitions. Now I can tell you, not everyone in the district is going to put their name and email address in there. So if you want to be different, if you want to stand out, particularly when it comes to your club competitions for evaluations and area and division and district, pop your name and email address in there. I'll send you the link. Come along on the 10th of September. We're gonna have a blast. It's gonna be a great afternoon and you and your club will be able to give better evaluations and table topic responses. Looking forward to seeing you there and I'm looking forward to having a beer with you right after. See you there.